How about that? This is the YDM DX01 Yadder Wan from um, the animated show Yadderman, which they just recently did a, a, a kind of a modernized live action remake of Yadderman, but this is based on the cartoon, the, uh, the 2008 cartoon, which is pretty much the same as the old one, as far as I can tell. So this is Yadder Dog, uh, Yadder Wan, but he's a dog. I mean, he's all plastic. He's pretty big. Um, he is an actual child's toy sold in a child's toy store. It's around 50 bucks. Um, but right now he's pretty much clearanced everywhere for like, you know, 35 or so. Came out in 2008. So what is the big deal with Yadder Wan? Well, the, the, this is part of a whole toy line where they all use these things called Bikuri Mecha. Uh, no. It's Bikuri something or other. They're basically these little characters on these bases. They have little uh, steel balls in them. And what you do is you insert them into this figure through the door here. Okay, see the hole? And then, what you do is you pop his head up like so and then you tilt the body down and now there's two things you can do. You can use this little ramp you know, and that's okay but they give you a bigger ramp which I will add for effect. Okay. And what it does, ready to get in this? Hold on, this is kind of cool. So you take the tail and you launch it up. Oh, sorry. These little dudes swing out of it. Cool, huh? So these, this, these are these um, things that you can buy a couple, like two or three packs of these, and they'll have little Yatter characters on it. And they're like eight bucks for a uh, two or three pack. And they interact with not only these vehicles, but play sets and all this other thing. So it's actually a really big line uh, with a lot of play value in it, which is kind of neat and unheard of these days. So to reload, you can load three at a time. And these um, come off the bases, they're just little pegs. Okay. Load one. Load two, load three, okay, and then if you want to launch them, you just, huh? come on, that's kind of cool. So that alone is, is neat, okay, but the, the great thing about this line is that it's, ex it's, it's extensibility, and it's kind of a shame that I... When I was in Tokyo, I really wanted to track down the other parts to this, but I couldn't find them for sale. Everybody was pretty much out, which is kind of lame. But what it is, is there's, uh, this is the Yadder Wan. There is also a Yadder Pelican that Yadder Wan can ride on and combine with. And I believe it probably combines in these, these little slots in the back. And it has these giant wingspans. Huge! Great! And then there's uh, the, the Yatter, Yatter Man 1 and 2, the, the boy and the girl. Um, they have PVC figures that lean off the side and grab onto these handles here on the side. And those are about 800 yen each. Um, and then there's the, the villains. And they all come in scale. And they're all really, really well done. And I think it's an awesome little toy line of actual toys. Now, if this was metal, oh my god. Can you see this, how it would have been a great Gokin? But unfortunately, no. Actual child's toy made for play by actual children. Sturdy, plastic, fun. No batteries required. Very little assembly required. Um, it, it's really cool. So, yeah. Um, DX Yadawan from Yadaman from Takara Tomi, released 2008, running about 5,000 yen. I got mine, uh, where did I get mine actually, Yodobashi camera I got mine when I was in Tokyo last time, got it on sale. Uh, I'm sure you could find one through any of the better Japanese story stores, probably the ones that are in Japan, because this is not an item that I think a lot of people are just going to import and carry domestically, so you might want to try like your Hobby Link Japan or uh, Anime Export or something like that. So anyways, Josh from Collection DX, thanks for watching.